Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this is the number two uh, in my video tutorial series. Uh, it's going to be a quick and dirty installing and running the Intersect game engine. Uh, I was going to do a lot more, but realized that would take up a lot more time, so I'm going to break it down into sections. Um, all we're going to do now is just install the game engine um, uh, and uh, get it going. So without further ado, let's head over to uh, free MMORPGmaker.com and uh, get our hands on this free game engine. Um, here we are on the website. What you want to do is just go to the download page. Uh, just hit the download right here on the front. Okay. And the download is going to take you here to the uh, Intersect Alpha version 1.9. Remember, guys, this is alpha version, so there's a lot of little quirky things we'll have to work through, but uh, let's get it. Let's get it in, downloaded and installed right now. So hit the download now. Uh, here's a lot of past versions. What we want is the last one here on the list, Alpha 1.9 zip. All right. So download it, save as. I've already got a folder on my desktop that I've created, and that's where I'm going to save it to. All right. So feel free to save it wherever you want to save it to. All right. Once you've got that done, you can go ahead and uh, close your web browser. <clears throat> All right, and here's the window. All right, All right. Okay. I'm going to extract my files right here. And now we have the Intersect Alpha 1.9 folder. Let's open that up. Uh, what you're going to notice is the client and the client and the editor, and you're going to notice the server. Uh, the client. Uh, or the editor will not run without the server running first. So let's go ahead and open our server. And you want to go to the intersect server exe file. Double click that. Now, that'll pop up the server. It's super fast. Um, I'll get into what you can do with this server later, but for now, just minimize it. All right, let's go back to our client and our editor. All right. Okay. And the first thing that we're going to need to do is create an account. So go ahead and open your client. All right, this will open up the Intersect free 2D or online role-playing game engine client. Um, it's going to download uh, all the default tile sets and everything that you're going to need to create your game with. Okay, let's get in here so you can see. So go ahead and uh, hit register. All right, and create a username, of course. Ambard. At gmail.com. Create your password. One, two, three, four, five, six. Don't worry, that's not my real password. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, register. You'll come to the registration screen. Create your character's name, Ambard. There's only one class right now. It's called default. We're going to change that later so that you have actual classes in your game. Uh, and there is the male and the female version. Uh, go ahead and hit create. <clears throat> and now you're in a dark world. This is the default world um, of the Intersect game engine. Uh, your character spawns in the very top right corner up here. And very soon here, we're fixing to go into the editor and change that. But um, by creating a character, you've created a, a, your, your first account inside of your programming um, world. Okay. Uh, all the basic stuff here, Ambar chat window, you've got your inventory, spells, character information. Um, we can change, you know, resolutions. You can go full screen, sound on, off, what so forth. Last button here is exit game. So let's go ahead and exit the game. And now what we want to do is we want to go from a dark world to something that kind of resembles an actual game world. All right. So you're going to go to your intersect editor. All right. And you want your server running. Your server has to be running. Double click on your intersect editor. All right. It's going to pop up. Log in. Okay. Bear with me here. Desktop. All right. Again, we're presented with a dark world, our very first map. Um, if you're new to game developing, especially 2D game developing with tile sets and so forth, um, 
this is pretty much your standard layout for a 2D uh, game engine. A black screen. This is your first map. All right. Over here on the right hand side, it says new map right here. Go ahead and right click that. Rename that to start map. Hit enter. Okay, this is our start map. You'll see a little green. Our tile set is here to the left. Again, this is going to be a quick and dirty. You guys are going to figure this out. You just need a little, you know, some of you might just need a little help, you know, seeing it done. So our first layer of our first map is going to be ground. All right. We're going to make it a grass layer. I mean, if you wanted to make it a sand layer, you could do so. Just select one of these different little tiles. But for now, we're just going to make it a grass. All right. Go up here. There's a paint bucket. Fill. You sure? Yes. Now we've got full grass laid out. All right. So our so now we've gone from a dark world to now we have created ground. All right. Fantastic. Once you've created your ground, um, go ahead and save. Hit yes. All right. Um, and um, close out. Okay. Go back to now. Another thing you want to do. Well, this should work just fine for now, but what I like to do is, since it is an alpha, I will close my server, go back. I found that this helps a lot by doing this. Restart your server. Now go back, go to your client netter, and go back into your client. All right. Let's log back in with our bard. Two, three, four, five, six. Go ahead and log in. That is that is the account that you created to begin with, and you will notice that you are now in the world. Here we are. Uh, we can walk around, um, scrolls, and we'll be able to create a whole lot more stuff. That is the basics of downloading and installing the game engine and really creating your first map. Um, we'll go ahead and exit this now, and in my next video, I'm going to start showing you guys how to really add detail to your map and start to create your very first world, um, get your character class um, uh, classes taken care of. Uh, but um, thanks for watching this, and I look forward to uh, getting tutorial number three out. We'll talk to you guys later.